In this video, I'll show you how to add the window openings to our walls for our SketchUp house. As it is now, we have our walls 3D. Things are looking pretty good, uh, but it's time to add our window openings, and we can't see on the floor plan where the windows need to go because we covered the floor plan and with it, those little symbols that showed us where the windows go. A little trick to help us uh, find where our windows need to go is if we zoom out, get to more of a top-down view. Uh, using just the regular cursor, we're going to click up above and in a corner here, drag a window down below the house and off to the side, kind of like this. Uh, let the mouse button go. We'll highlight, we'll select uh, all of this so far, all of our walls, our floor plan and everything. Uh, click paint bucket. And then find glass and mirrors. Uh, right now, I just want to make these walls translucent. You can pick whichever translucent material you want. I'm going to choose this uh, gray glass, and then I'm going to paint one of the walls, and you'll see, since they're all highlighted, all of the walls change to that glass material. Uh, we don't use this, uh, we don't need to use this materials uh, panel anymore, so we can hit the arrow, get rid of it. Then I'll click on that regular arrow cursor again and click somewhere away from the house to deselect my walls. Now I can see that they're all sort of the see-through glass material. Uh, so it looks kind of cool, but also uh, this is pretty handy because we can see a window needs to go here on this front wall. Needs window needs to go here. Uh, I know I've got another window back here. So now I can see all those symbols that would show me where windows go. Next step. Uh, in order to make our window openings, uh, we're going to set ourselves up with some guidelines. Uh, and to do that, we'll use the tape measure tool, right? Click tape measure. I'm going to hover over the bottom edge of a wall. You'll see a red square. It'll say on edge in the tooltip. I'm going to click once and start bringing my mouse directly up. Uh, it's important to know you're going up you have to see that the line is highlighted blue. If it's not highlighted blue, if it's some other color, uh, like green, for example, I'd actually be going along the floor into the house. I don't want that. I want to be going up, so I've got to make sure it's highlighted blue. Uh, I want the bottom edge of all of my windows to be 36 inches away from the ground. Uh, so to do that, I'm just going to use the keyboard. I'm going to press 3, 6, and then quotation which is shift and apostrophe, and enter. As soon as I hit enter, you can see I have a dotted guideline that goes across the front wall of the house, right, showing me 36 inches from the ground. I'll do a similar thing up here on the top edge. When I see the red square, I'll click. So I bring it down. I'm making sure I'm in the blue direction. I'd like it to be 18 inches away from the top of the wall. So I'm going to press 1, 8, Quotation, enter. Okay, and now I've got my bottom and my top guidelines for the windows on the front wall. Uh, I know I've got a window over here on this side, so I'll show you a trick. If you have to make more guidelines around the other walls of your house, which you probably do, you could do that same process again, where you could start on this, clicking on this bottom edge, start bringing it up, and then type in 36 again. You could do that. or you could come up to a guideline that you already have, kind of like this. I'm hovering over the intersection between the guideline and that edge of the wall. You can see it's highlighted with a little X. It says three apostrophe or three feet. I'm going to use that guideline. I'm going to click right there on that intersection. And it uses that measurement to make a new guideline without me having to type in the measurement, right? It just used that previous guideline. I'll do the same up here on the top edge. Click top edge. Bring my cursor down to this intersection. Uh, one foot six inches, that's the same as 18 inches. That's what we put on the front wall. So I'm gonna click that. And that's an even quicker way to make your next guidelines if you can use an intersection like that. Okay, uh, now that we have our top and bottom guidelines, let's make some left and right guidelines. So clicking on the edge of the wall here. I'm going to bring my tape measure right to where it 
intersects with the corner of that um, window symbol. So that's going to be my left edge for the window. I'll click over on this edge, bring it right to about there, and click. And so that, just using that uh, symbol here on the floor plan, now I've got a guidelines set up for my rectangle for my window opening. Now this is your house, it's your house project. If you would like to tweak the sizes of the windows on your house at all, if you want to add extra windows, things like that, Go for it. Uh, but at least this way, if you want to go right from the floor plan, right, here's a pretty good way to do it. Next step, we're going to draw a rectangle using these guidelines that will become our window opening here. So I'm going to come up to uh, the corner where it says intersection. I'm going to click, bring my mouse across to the other corner and click. I've got my rectangle set up. So now we're ready for the last step. We we'll just click on push pull tool. And I've got two quick clicks here, right? First click, I'm going to click and then let the mouse button go, right? I'm not going to click and hold. I'm just going to do a quick click, click inside the rectangle. And now I'm going to move my mouse up to the back edge of the wall, right? So I clicked on the rectangle on the front edge of the wall. Now I'm going to click on the back edge. Click. You can see as soon as I do that, that material disappears, and I have my window opening. So one more time, I'm clicking on the rectangle on the front edge of the wall, but I'm moving my mouse to click on the back edge. And now that material disappears, and I have my window opening. Now you can do the same steps for all of the windows around the house. Uh, they should all work just like that. Uh, once you're finished, some last steps here, a little bit of cleanup. We don't really want our glass house going on uh, past this. We just wanted to be able to see through to see the window opening um, markings on the floor plan. So I'm going to highlight all these walls again. Click Paint Bucket. Colors. And when we started, everything was white. So I'm just going to click on the white again. We'll paint all those walls white and click away. So that should be back to more how it was when we started. You can see what our window openings look like now. And these dotted lines are super helpful to make our window openings. But once everything's done, we don't need to see them all the time. So if you click over here to display, looks like a pair of glasses. Find the little checkbox next to guides. Okay, we're going to turn the guides off. So click that checkbox, uncheck it. And then again, we can close this panel here. Now you'll see your, your guides are gone. Right? So those are our steps for adding the window openings to our walls. Uh, do that for all your windows. Uh, good work. Make sure you save your work. And we'll see you for the next step in the next video.